Kelly and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we have another skincare video as you already know I am way too deep in the world of skincare and I've been researching learning educating myself about as much as I can so that I can give you the right kind of information and you know educate all of you with the same knowledge that I have as well if you want to learn more about skincare and other random stuff then go ahead and subscribe to my channel give this video a big like and um, yeah let's get right into it you might be wondering what grounds do i have to give you all these skincare tips like how do i even know if all of this works well let me tell you some of you already might know but for the new ones i did struggle with acne for about two years now i have been really cautious of my skin ever since like i have been looking into what's good and what's not good you know all the skincare tips and tricks that i can possibly find in the entire internet i have tested them and i have tried them and i'm sharing those with you so that you can be protective and give the skin the care that it deserves so let's get right into the tips tip number one don't touch your face now this has been pretty easy for us lately because of the pandemic we usually wear masks and we don't really keep our hands around our faces that is just amazing it's one of the best things that has come out of this whole situation so please don't touch your face because a lot of times we touch certain things and who knows what type of bacteria just gets accumulated on our fingertips and hands. When you touch your face, all of that transfers onto your face and that just gives bacteria some breathing ground and it's not going to be very clean and very healthy for your skin. Tip number two, if you have dandruff, then get rid of that first because let me tell you how bad it is for dandruff to fall on your skin. Your pores basically consume all of that dandruff and it clogs your pores. It's just a whole mess so please get rid of the dandruff that you have before taking care of your skin hair health is very important even i need to take my own advice because lately my hair has been um i had my highlights done and that kind of like fried my hair a little bit so even i need to take care of my hair but i'm talking about your scalp health that is really important like you have to take care of your scalp and dandruff. Oftentimes you might have noticed that people with long hair will have a little bit of acne on their back maybe and people with bangs will have a little bit of acne on their forehead and that is all because of the sebum that your scalp produces and how your dandruff and all of that dirt that is on your hair just falls on your skin. That is not good so yeah take care of your scalp before looking into skincare. Tip number three. Oh what? Tip number three, avoid washing your face in the shower. All that water then runs from your head to your body, just don't let it touch your face because when you're washing your hair, all those products that you put on your hair, like shampoos and conditioners and all of that, those may have harmful chemicals that are not compatible with your skin. So avoid washing your face in the shower because that's when your pool is the most open and it's hot. So once you come out of the shower, then make sure to wash your face with lukewarm water, not hot, not cold. And then, you know, rinse it off with some cold water and you're good to go. Tip number four, change your bedding at least twice a week, especially, especially pillows. We lose a lot of skin cells, okay? We lose a lot of skin cells. All the dead skin cells, they just fall everywhere. And the place that most of it falls on is our bed. So make sure to change your pillowcases, change your bedding all the time. I mean, don't do it like every single day, that is, I mean, it's good if you do that, but two times a week is a pretty good balance. Tip number five, avoid dairy. Now, this is a tip that my dermatologist actually gave me, and she told me that dairy is not very great when it comes to like acne prone skin and if you do have like oily combination skin and sometimes you do get a little bit of bumps here and there then dairy can be an issue just let me tell you try cutting out dairy for maybe two weeks and just check how much your skin improves because it really did work for me and i cut down dairy for about three four months and it transformed my skin 
try switching to plant-based milk try switching to you know more healthier more vegan options and of course you can have like cakes and biscuits which have dairy in it but just don't consume a lot of milk and that will transform your skin let me tell you tip number six try not to wear makeup often now this is a very important tip because that is one thing that damages our skin a lot of times because there are certain chemicals in the makeup that are very harmful to our skin try to avoid makeup and only wear makeup when it's absolutely necessary tip number seven don't wear makeup for more than four hours straight that is absolutely the worst thing that you can do if you are wearing makeup then make sure that you clean your skin and then reapply every two hours i know it's hard okay i know it's almost impossible but wearing makeup for four hours or longer in a stretch is really really bad for your skin one is that whenever you walk around all that dirt just sticks on your skin because of the makeup and then because of the makeup it stays on your skin for a longer amount of time all of those things are a big no-no for us and for us to have a great skin then definitely cut down on the hours that you wear makeup tip number eight always remove makeup thoroughly a lot of times we think that our makeup's all gone but it is not and there's always some residue there's always a little bit of makeup hidden in the crevices of our skin and you need to make sure that it is all gone this takes us to our tip number nine and that is please i beg you please do not use makeup wipes makeup wipes have fragrance in it which is absolutely terrible for our skin and the dragging motion that friction on our skin is so so not recommended and please use like a cleansing balm or something because when you wear makeup that is waterproof then water or like makeup remover will not do a very good job at removing it you, the oiliness of the cleansing balm will remove all of the makeup and double cleanse if you can because cleansing is really really important tip number 10 get your makeup brushes as clean as possible so at least wash them after every single use because that makeup is gonna sit on your brushes accumulate all the dirt and it's gonna get like really really bad and disgusting put on your skin once again clean your makeup brushes clean your beauty blenders clean every thing even the packaging you know you have your foundation or whatever and you just you know use some alcohol rubbing alcohol and just like wipe it around and you will thank me later for this because you know your makeup is the stuff that you put on your face you need to be very very cautious of where it is where it's been like you know if it's clean or not so please make sure that all your makeup brushes are clean tip number 11 get into skincare and learn more about ingredients this is actually the best decision that i've made because i learned more and more about skincare in the past like few months more than i ever have in my entire life and that just gave me an idea of what you can do with skincare like would you ever need makeup if you have great skin of course not and how great is that to invest more of your time energy and even money into skincare than into makeup because natural ways are honestly the best ways and putting chemicals on our face that are harmful is it's just it's not going to do any good for anyone so get yourself to learn more about skincare and see how that makes a big difference Tip number 12, do not put anything on your skin without researching about it. Now this applies to all of you who watch about a certain product somewhere and know it's raved about and know it's very popular and then you decide to put it on your own skin. Don't do that. That is one of the worst things that you can do because you have different skin. Everyone on this entire planet has different types of skin and what might work for someone else might not work for you. And that is why you need to make sure that whatever product that you are looking at works for your skin type as well and that is why you need to do your research and find out more about these products and if it works on your skin 
do not consume medication at any cost without a doctor's approval because that can be so detrimental to your skin to your health to everything overall please do not consume any medication without you know asking or consulting with a doctor first tip 13 start a skincare routine and be consistent with it now if you did watch my previous to previous video i introduced all the products in detail i spoke about each one individually and gave Give you guys an idea of what's in it and how it's gonna react with your skin so go watch that and maybe you might learn something new now this tip is really important and it's worked for me so far not only do you have to have a skincare routine but you also have to remember to be consistent with it this honestly applies to a lot of things literally everything whatever goal you have or anything that you put your mind to for it to be successful and for you to see results, you have to be consistent with it. Don't give up halfway and if you forget to do your routine maybe in the night, don't stop there. Don't think, okay, I've messed up already and I'm not going to do it again or I'm going to start from next week. Don't do that. If you skip a day, that is okay. Just start from the next day onwards because the next day is a new day and that gives you a fresh start. So be consistent with everything that you do and in this case, especially your skincare routine. Step 14. Be confident no matter what your skin looks like. I feel like this is very important for each and every one of you to hear because a lot of times we do tend to be insecure in our skin and we try to cover up and we try to alter how we look and that takes a lot more energy than it should we should be able to live as freely as we can no matter what people say you should be confident in your own skin and the more you see people do that around you the more comfortable you become to do that yourself so why not start with you why not start doing that and inspiring the people around you to also follow this we should take baby steps and work little by little towards that i myself am still working on it and i know this year is going to be pretty good for all of us and if in some way i can inspire all of you to also be confident in your own skin and regardless of what other people say or regardless of how you are being viewed if you can be comfortable then that is the way to go slow down there buckaroo tip number 15 this one is a little bit cheeky Are you sure about that? I admit, but tip number 15 is to watch me and subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want to learn more about skincare, more about skincare tips, how you can take care of your skin in the best and healthiest way possible. I will share all of the information and the knowledge that I find with you guys so that it will help you all in any way. I mean, if you're lazy to do it, then just come to my channel, watch me and It'll be entertaining and it'll be informative at the same time. So that is all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all had a wonderful and great week. And if not, maybe this video helped you a little bit. We hit 200 subscribers, by the way. Just want to mention that as well. Absolutely insane. Thank you so much. I just want to individually give all of you guys a virtual hug. I cannot be more grateful and thank you so much for watching my videos and for liking, commenting, subscribing, all of the above. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!